Double nap, let's go. I haven't really fully introduced you to this guy yet. Um, this is my A6 DIY Happy Planner, otherwise known as a DIY Disc Bound Planner. Um, I Last time I showed it to you with the voiceover, with my weekly plan with me video, I was using the, the standard size rings or discs, which uh, I don't have any right now. I, anyway. I was using them for something else. Um, these are the mini size, and I actually couldn't find replacement mini size rings in the color I wanted, so I bought an entire, like, Happy Notes. Um, it ended up being, I think, cheaper anyway. So, <laughs> um, swap the discs out for something smaller that doesn't feel ridiculous. Um, they might outgrow this at some point, and I still have those bigger rings that I can move it to. Uh, sorry, discs. Um, and I also redid the cover since last time. Still not 100% happy with it, but the benefit of the DIY is you can kind of just keep doing it over and over again. Um, it was too big last time. I think my cut margins were too wide also. I liked the idea of having a clear part here so I could see my tabs. I haven't cut the tabs yet. They're still just sort of overhang instead of being tabs because uh, the math on that scares me. Anyway, today we're going to be doing a February Play With Me video, and that's why we're here. Um, I, yeah, I printed out a bunch of these month on one pages. This is insert 64 from GangiePlans.com. Sorry about the zoom on the camera. Uh, it's just the way it has to be right now because of the way my camera's set up that the tripod's not very stable. And so it has to be zoomed in so that you don't see like everything. Anyway, the point is uh, you may not be able to see the entire page all at once. We'll do my best. Um, we're going for this sort of eh, kind of color scheme, some pastels, um, some pinks and stuff, as you do for February. And I think I will actually just remove it. It's so much easier. Like I was never one of the ones who would, I don't like cutting my ring bound um, pages. Some people will like slit them so that you can pull them in and out really easily. I never found that necessary, but since it's so easy to take the discs on and off, arguably too easy, figure me as well. Um, I'm gonna just do this. So I printed out all of these because, so with my, if you've been following my saga, if you've been <laughs> subscribed, uh, if you haven't been, first of all, uh, subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, I post videos every Thursday about this situation. Uh, let me just grab something to cut my washi with. Yeah, that's straight. Um, if you have been following along, I was most recently in a pocket-sized traveler's notebook. And so when you have a DIY traveler's notebook set up with printables, you can't easily go in and change things up. Anyway, I included months on one page and also a future log. Um, even though part of my brain was thinking I would use the month on one page as my future log, Anyway, this time I just printed the month on one page and not the future log, which means that when something comes up, like towards the end of January, things are starting to come up, plans for February. Um, I am going to knock something down here. All right. I, uh, what was I just saying? <laughs> I had to put it somewhere, right? And so there wasn't a future log to put it in. I put it in the February spread. But as you see, it doesn't say February which is not a huge issue because it's just on the back of January. I can tell what it's supposed to be. But then something came up for later in the year. I don't remember exactly now what that was. Um, but it, uh, wait, yeah, it's later in the year. Oh yeah, standard time. I was putting daylight savings and standard time on my planner. And so I had to just like count the months to find November. Uh, which is not exactly what I wanted to be doing with my time. Okay, so it's not a leap year. Um, how does it get? This guy here, I got my husband a 3D printer at one point for Christmas, and he doesn't really use it. I think he kind of broke it and hasn't fixed it yet. He hasn't really found a use for it too much. Anyway, but when he was testing it out, um, I found this cut file um see I don't know why it's all weird and yellow you can see that but anyway this is like a sticky note checklist thing it's just a it's not super high resolution and so it doesn't work great but the idea is you can make a little checklist on a sheet of sticky notes isn't that cute 
Anyway, it, it was next to me in the drawer here, and it has a straight edge, so I'm using it to cut washi. Um, and I was just going to cover up a couple of days here. Like this. Where was I? Yeah, so uh, I kind of, like, because I don't want to plan these months in advance, if only because I do it for my YouTube videos, like this one. If I filmed all of my months in advance, then I wouldn't have an entire week's worth of video content already pre-scheduled. So, um, yeah, can't do that. I could just put February, you know, but I have a sticker for that, and it's under some washi tape, like, like this was. That looked good, right? Um, and so I was thinking I can just do it like this every time, but then I would have to pick the color scheme and everything in advance. And anyway, these are from Mad Hatter Stickers Co. They're very small, which I like. I probably could use something much bigger for this. The only other, oh, oh. Ah, here, that's good. I found my little tweezers. Uh, the only other month header medium I have is a stamp, which would not work on washi. Okay. You might be able to, by the way, hear my daughter's um, lullaby going. She's napping in the living room, and I have the Google Home playing her a YouTube video. All right. Um, I was going to use this thing, um, but it's... Uh, I'm gonna label these days first. I'm gonna go ahead and use this teal because it kind of goes with the blue. Uh, label the weekends, but first, I didn't bring a pen over here. That's an issue. Anyway, just watch. I'm gonna get like demonetized because I. Uh, you can hear the music in the other room or something. All right. So the first is a Wednesday. In fact, this Wednesday. In fact, yesterday. I usually film these a bit further in advance and post like the Thursday before the month starts but I did it differently that's all but it kind of feels like the month skipped uh, snuck up on me because I'm so used to planning it like two weeks in advance and here I'm planning on this the 30th I am going to pay attention to what I'm doing, and I'm not going to overdate. Let's all count 26, 27, 28. All right, that's the month. So it's just a little mini calendar in the corner. Like I said, this is insert 64. Uh, six, five, four, five. So we already have some plans here. I put them without really paying attention to the days of the week because I usually look at these highlights and those weren't there. Uh, right, so like a birthday party towards the end of the month and I was like, I don't know what day of the week that is. Um, but I guess I'll find out when it comes. So, uh, sort of, oh, I know. No, I don't know. I was going to use some skinny washi, but then I remembered I didn't pull any out. This isn't quite that skinny, and it's also like more decorative than utilitarian. It's like mostly see-through is my point. And I instantly am not a fan of how bright this pink is. It probably doesn't look as bad. One time, uh, I spent a whole month coloring over these bright colors with gray and i really liked the way it looked but it was like way too much work for the effect all right so i'm gonna put this guy here been liking the way that fits there um last month last month's word i guess was home this one um i'm not sure actually We've mostly unpacked things. We, we still have several boxes, but most of what I'm responsible for unpacking is unpacked. 
which means I'm trying to sort of settle in and starting to think about the future. I'm starting to think about, I think this month we might make a final decision about where our daughter's going to be going to school. Though she, one of them has an application process. And so we're going to be going to like the interviews and stuff for that. So we might not know for sure, depending on where she gets in. Um, we already, like I said, have some plans here. And as far as to do, it's like there's no future log. There is, though, a school calendar. So let me pull that out. It is. This is the same um, thing I've been doing where it's all folded up and um, just in here, but I'm not going to show it to you again still because of privacy reasons. But I can mark what my what the different days are that are like off. So for example, the 7th is a no school day and the 20th is a no school day oh that's right that's president's day so that's where we're gonna go visit our cousins and then the 31st wait what that's that's may <laughs> uh the 22nd is a half day like that did that Man, I was just gesturing for something off camera. Again, apologies for the framing. We're going to figure this out. New new setup, new office area. Um, okay. And then I think the only other thing that I should be looking at is like the last time done log stuff, like the recurring tasks, which is right here and i haven't even finished doing all this stuff on january yet um so i will basically again be putting that on this task here or on this list recurring tasks um to remind me to come in here it's like i think i finally finished that list yeah i considered it checked off for January there's some stuff in here that needs doing still but others I can add so for example um yeah I want to do I'll just put that here accounting that's for my shop again ganchiprints.com where I sell these um I got really behind on my just like bookkeeping uh then Bridget sheets are due around here. Not that day. Should probably do them before. Anyway, too late. Uh, Dominic sheets. And Agnes's. I haven't had to change them yet in January, so I should do that this week when I do ours. Razors. Um, oh, that's, yeah, okay. Terracool bags. Don't know if these work or not. But we've got them back in our lives again. It's the return of the charcoal bags. Um, I put pay rent here, but really, I mean, like, well, yeah. I'm probably going to schedule it earlier when the invoices come in. Some other things on here. I want to get rinse aid. Did I put that? I have that on here, rinse aid. I want to just like remember when to refill it in the dishwasher. And I think there's room for some more right now, but we're out. So I'm just trying to find my way around this planner still. Um, it's not intuitive yet. Let me see. Where did I leave? Here it is. This is my meal plan for this week. Haven't done next week's meal plan, but it can wait until then. This is the grocery list of things that we'll need at some point. Oh, and I already put it. I already put it there. So this is some of the things that I'm thinking, oh, we need to get that next time I do my big grocery haul. It's very convenient that we live like within walking distance of an Aldi right now, which is really nice. Um, I haven't been an Aldi shopper for a while because um, it was just not convenient. So there's not a lot of things on here that need uh, to be added. I think that's pretty much it. 
I need to sort of learn my way around this planner better. Like I said, it's, um, and I'll be doing a flip through of the whole thing. So I'm not going to spoil that right now, but next week's video should be the flip through. Do you think I will have cut the tubs by then? I doubt it. It scares me, right? So this is five and three quarter inches tall. And I have to divide it into six sections. And uh, I don't know, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. Because like, uh, maybe I'll do it sort of in half and sort of in half-ish. Like, eh, it's just not gonna be perfect. And then I'm gonna be stuck with it not being perfect. Because I want them to overlap just slightly but I also want them to be even. I would like them each to be one inch and then overlap, but that's, you know what I mean? Like it's not perfect. There's math and I'm not good at it and it doesn't divide evenly, which is, uh, I only have, I think I, I don't even have like a millimeter ruler. I don't have very good cutting measurements. So if you have any tips for that, leave them in comments down below. Um, don't forget to subscribe because like I said, next week will be the full flip through and um, you and I will both get some tour through this. It's not perfect yet. Like, so right now I have this, which is like a little printer paper pocket that I whipped up out of like a little washi tape and no time at all because I needed somewhere to put some stamps. Um, so that's in there, but I'm going to upgrade it with either something with like pretty paper or a laminator pocket or something like that. Um, and... It's been working though, you know? Like I said, I was looking for something that would lay flat. Um, here's here's last week, for example. It lays flat on my counter, and there it is. I have my dailies. And, um, and I found that this actually, for the first time in years, this actually fits in a little clutch I have, a little clutch purse that I have. So I'm able to carry that around with me if it's in the diaper bag, you know, like I don't have, I don't carry a full-size purse with me these days because I have that diaper bag. So, that's working. Uh, I'm finding solutions to my problems and um, I will continue to do so. So I will see you guys in the next video next Thursday. Have a great productive day and I'll see you then. Bye.